<laughs> in an ever-changing world of beauty, the importance of makeup has increased as it is needed for various purposes. My name is Zobo Michael. I'm 13 years old and I started doing makeup when I was 10 years old. In a contemporary world where things are done differently, gender or age shouldn't be a barricade to expressing one's talent. I learned makeup through my mom. She's a makeup artist and she always do practicals on me, so since then I gained interest. But uh, Michael uh, happens to be a natural, talented uh, artist. He drew, he drew a lot in the house, play around with colors. And uh, the moment he came to my studio, he started playing with my palette, my shadow palette. And I looked into him and said, wow, this guy will do wonders. Then he quickly joined and I noticed that he could do more better than me in the field with time. And I always watch her working. During closing hours, if you have a client, I'm always there watching. And I started from being a picker. And anything she wanted to do, I'll pick it for her. And from there, you'll be learning every step. So that's how I basically started. My work-life balance has not too hectic because um, I always um, go for a tutorial lesson. So through that tutorial, I balance my assignment there and I can now go. But basically, I go to studios now only maybe Friday afternoon and Saturdays. Okay, my dad has been very supportive of me. He said that I should chase my dream, but and because of, let's say, this is one of the things fetching money nowadays, and mostly everybody is into it, so I can go for it. Because basically there are less males, and more especially young males in the field than adults. In five years' time, while he's 18, I see him to be one to be pursuing his academic career, then his vocation, the makeup. I see him to add his initiative, his youthful strength, enlightenment exposure, you know, to catapult Banksy Beauty World to international acceptable brand. Um, aside being a makeup artist, I would like to, you know, adventure in the field of robotics and build technological gadgets. If you go to robotics, in fact, the makeup will help him in his robotic build up. So you can imagine the kind of feet he wants that is that uh, that has to do with Africa, not English, you know, not Western that is um, Africanized. Uh, when I told my friend that we make up artists at first, not many of them believe me, they think I'm teasing, but um, after a while, my friend, my close friend, the guy, they actually believe me. And let's call me Ricky Bansi, my nickname. This 13-year-old boy is passionate about something rather unusual. Um, on how I work, um, I'm basically an all-rounder. Anyhow, but let's say I'm quite better in something a little bit loud and flashy. Um, the challenge I face as a makeup artist, a male makeup artist, like, for example, I'll say an example um, in this studio. If I come to work, work for a, um, a lady, I'll come there and I'll just ask my dad, where is our makeup artist? And he'll be like, He's standing in front of me and I'm like, ah, is that the one that works for me? So, all these type of things. And maybe don't feel that I'll be better or as good as the adults. And I can say that maybe I'll be better than some adults. So, my advice to parents is that make sure your kids acquire extra skills aside their academic pursuit. Uh, my advice for parents out there that wouldn't allow their kids to be, you know, chase their dreams, that maybe you should just sit down, let's say go to the web and look at how what small little kids that their parents have left to tell their dreams, how they are flourished, for example, me now. So just give them the chance, but make sure you watch them so they won't abuse the privilege. <laughs>